two years ago, we realized that we wanted to teach chemistry in a different way. And we were, we were unhappy with how much time we were spending trying to creatively come up with a way for students to discover certain concepts that seemed logical and we couldn't figure out why it wasn't quite connecting. So we began our journey by evaluating our current practices as of three years ago. And what was really interesting is we found that there were holes when we really looked through a rubric and through an objective lens of what we were doing. And the biggest hole was in inquiry. We wanted to have a more inquiry-based curriculum. Sharon had gotten samples of this curriculum, Living by Chemistry, as it had been developed over the last 10 years. It had been updated several times and it was available to, to trial. So the, the beginning of the journey was, maybe we should try this and see if it's gonna work. And then what if it doesn't work? And is there something else out there? So the fellowship really was, let's try a couple and see what works best with our students and what works best with us and the way that we like to teach. By the end of the first semester though, we realized that we like living by chemistry. We actually wanted to switch gears and trial more of that because it was so intriguing to us and, and we loved it and we weren't that happy with the other ones that we thought we were gonna like. So by the end of the first year, we realized this is, this is where we wanted to stay and all of this year was then taking what we had learned and solidifying what we liked and what we didn't like about living by chemistry and really staying with that one curriculum the whole year. Now that we've spent an entire year with living by chemistry, there are several things that we've seen with the kids. First of all, they actually really love the class. And it's because this curriculum not only was inquiry based, it also was in the context of everyday life and that has been intriguing. They ask questions now about what is the chemistry outside. Great questions that I don't think were necessarily actually based in chemistry in previous years. So there's this context. Then there's this inquiry, the fact that they're even asking questions. Whereas in the past, I don't think they were so prone to look at the world and say, where's the chemistry and how does it relate to it? The other aspect of it is that I think that there's a basic knowledge of chemistry that we're getting that I'm hoping will last longer than just for the midterm or for the final. It seems like that curiosity is permeating their everyday life. I mean, they're making these connections that I've never seen with students before, and it's really exciting. They're all standard concepts that every kid everywhere is studying, but the thing that's different is how it's presented to the student and what the student does in discovering that piece of information. Every day we're doing some kind of hands-on activity. A lot of kids need to touch and feel and do things and get excited and these activities that we do engage them in a very wonderful way. We know that in order for people to really solidify their learning, they have to have some kind of inquiry-based experience that you assess what they previously know, you have this inquiry experience, and then you have them think about the way they're learning. And every design activity lab that we do has those components, which is really what research is saying has to happen in the classroom. There's a balance between an open inquiry to a very guided inquiry with an objective in mind. And so the kids discover the learning. It's one thing to say, oh, this is what's the foundation of science, and it's another thing to say, let's go do it, and then they discover it, and then we help guide them to reach those conclusions and to get the right vocabulary. What I do notice, more so than before, is that students leave confident. They leave feeling like it's something that they can do, whereas before, a lot of students were getting bogged down in the math, and they felt like they couldn't do chemistry because they were weaker math students. And the way the curriculum is designed, you're still using math, but there's more chances for success. So the students, they're not getting beaten up by the learning, and they're feeling like they understand key parts of how the world works, so it has a little more meaning for them. But I think, in general, their attitudes are better towards science, and that's really what it's all about, making them feel like this is something that is learnable, it's doable, and you can grasp it, and you know what? You can do it. And if they leave with that, then it makes all the difference in the world for us.